G'day, Hayden here at Pacific Toyota, giving you the personalized high definition virtual tour on our Mitsubishi Triton. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is just show you through the entire vehicle. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start off in the engine bay, um, obviously make sure there's an engine in there. Um, and then from there, we'll work our way through the exterior of the car, uh, going through all the paint and panel condition there. So if there are any imperfections, I will point them out. Um, and then from there, we'll work our way into the interior, going through obviously the condition, uh, all the service history and all the instrumentals that come with the vehicle. All right, so we'll kick things off. We'll jump straight onto this engine bay. Put up on here. Give you a look inside. So as you can see, nice and tidy. Do have a UHF antenna there as well. It's all nice and tidy under the hood. That's the, uh, the bonnet here. Nice and straight. There's no visible dents or anything like that. There is a bit of a stone chip mark just here. Another one just there as well. Uh, but apart from that, everything else seems to be nice and tidy through the front of the bonnet. Coming through the front bar area. So this is the current shape Triton. A stone chip mark just here. So the front end does have that really aggressive look to it, which is uh, which is pleasing. Another one just here as well. Coming through now to the rims and tyres. So these are a uh, a steel black track uh, rim. Um, and they're wrapped in a Falcon uh, Wild Peak all-terrain tire. And as you can see, heaps of tread left on those there. Um, showing you up the driver's side. As you can see there, nice and straight, no visible dents or anything like that. Paintwork wise, it's uh, equally the same there. There's a bit of a mark here. Um, now that should just come out with a bit of cut and polish. Just rub against it. There's a few marks down here just below where the stone guard is. Obviously we do have the rack on top as well. Roof racks and uh, obviously the roof basket, and also the light bar on the front. Coming through now to the rear of the car, um, where you will find you do have your reversing sensors as well as your reversing camera as well. Uh, but all in all, through the uh, the back tailgate, there's no major damage or anything like that. Obviously, in the tub, as you can see, um, the tub has been used, uh, being a full drive, but. Um, it's certainly not um, dinged up or anything like that. It's just more, more or less just paint work um, through here, which is good. Uh, coming down the passenger side now. Again, nice and straight. No visible dents in any of the panel work there. Paint work wise through here. Again, a few marks just down below on the stone guard. through the actual vehicle itself. Fairly tidy. So on all through the uh, the actual car, um, everything seems to be in uh, really good condition. A couple of little marks here and there, um, but as I mentioned, I can get them touched up. We do have a paint professional that can come around and do that for us. Um, so we'll show you through obviously the second row of seats here. Some cup holders in the center. It's all in really good condition. Floor mats, now they are genuine um, Mitsubishi floor mats. Across the backs of the seats as well. Door card. Same on the opposite side. So we'll jump across, turn the car on. Before 
before I jump in, obviously there's your floor mats, rubber floor mats at the front. That's your driver's seat. Passenger seat just here. Floor mat as well. Alright, so as you can see, she ticks over nicely there. On our display here, we are showing 33,214 kilometres on the clock. And as you can see, there are no warning lights or anything like that, which is uh, which is always good. Uh, moving along through our steering wheel here, we have all your stereo and Bluetooth controls just below. Over here, we have all our cruise control options and obviously our centre screen options also. Over here, we do have a uh, EVC throttle controller. Um, now, I run the same uh, system in my Triton. I normally have mine set on about Ultimate 6 uh, while driving, just gives me that really, I guess, uh, responsive uh, throttle um, while on the highway. And obviously if I'm uh, out full driving, I always put it on Eco mode. Uh, and I normally have it around Eco 8. Um, just gives me that really good control over the throttle while I'm, while I'm full driving. Um, so I don't, uh, don't, don't accidentally slip and I guess shoot over a rut do myself some damage but uh, cool little device the, uh, the EVCs um, it's probably the one of if not the best modification I, I did to my four-wheel drive um, over here obviously with your side mirror controls as for your light bar traction control all your window controls just here over into your infotainment system as I mentioned it is fitted out with your reversing camera as well as your reversing sensors um, if we go to a station here, As you can hear, all the, sp the speakers are working nicely there. Um, there's no distortion or anything like that. Um, air conditioning controls are just below that. Um, down here we have all your um, parking sensors, your USB to control, obviously, um, the charging of your phone, and obviously the music that's played through uh, your head unit here. Um, and then down below that, um, obviously, a UHF there also, uh, being a Oricom UHF. All our driving modes, and then down here, all your full driving options. Um, so two high, four high, uh, four low. Um, obviously, all your um, keys for your roof racks. Console area. Service history wise, we have four, 1,400, 15, and then 32,000 Ks. So, full and complete service history there. Obviously, with Mitsubishi, you only have to service them every 12 months or every 15,000 kilometers. Uh, but all in all, a uh, pretty well looked after vehicle. Uh, so, we'll jump out, give you a final look over the car now. Alrighty, so that is our Mitsubishi Triton. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. We we'll look forward to hopefully doing business with yourself very soon. Cheers.